Who are the top musicians in the world? In your opinion, you're a guy who loves rock and roll. Yep. You play the guitar. Mm -hmm. Even on stage, you will, you know, dabble in a couple of songs. As a musician, who is it you admire? All right. Uh, love Neil Young. Absolutely love Neil Young because he's now. managed to stay completely authentic and raw in a way that almost seems impossible to me. Do you know what I mean? He's whatever... It, what he was doing in with Buffalo Springfield in 1965, he's still going for that. He hasn't calcified. He hasn't crusted over. He's still going for that. And so that guy blows me away. And you mentioned Neil Young. And, and when we go back in Conan O'Brien history, Neil Young was a really incredible force in your life. When yeah. you were going through all your horrible shit with The Tonight Show, yeah, yeah, Jay yeah. Leno, we yeah. all know the story. Neil Young was your... Was he your last guest? Yeah, I, I don't know if he's, because it's all a blur to me now, and I have PTSD, and I'm medicated, uh, right. but... <laughs> <laughs> it's like Good asking. move. <laughs> right. But yeah, I, I, Neil Young came on, and uh, I think he did uh, Long May You Run, and I just, you know, it's such a beautiful thing. It was just, it was amazing. But he, he was one of those guys who really identified with what you were going through and yeah. supported you and didn't think what was being done by the corporate NBC uh, yeah. big wigs. Yeah. What, you know, the, the, he, he, he was vocal no, about no, it. No, no, he was, to use my people's term, a mensch. He was a mensch about the whole thing. He was great. He was a really lovely guy. Did you form a relationship with him outside of... Uh, the, Not the... really, no. And I got to say, I don't know, I get intimidated by that. I If I was going to meet Neil Young for a cup of coffee i would be i would get in my head about it because it's yeah. neil young and i do feel that way i mean another guy on my list who you've interviewed i think you've done my the best interviews with him of anybody is paul mccartney because i'm such a beatles fanatic and i've found that the couple of times i've interviewed him or been around him it gets weird i'm just looking at his hands and thinking right. those are the hands that made the chords that did this and that. And I think there's no, you can't go down that road. He's a guy and you, you got to just let all that go. That is so interesting that you're saying this because when I was interviewing Bruce Springsteen, right, he was sitting at the piano and I was watching his hands play the piano yeah. when he was playing Thunder Road. And this guy is just playing this music that resonates with me, but his hands were fascinating me because I don't know what I was expecting in you know, a weird way. It's No, it's true. When Einstein died, they did an autopsy and they removed his brain and they were just expecting it's going to have, instead of two lobes, it's going to have three, it's going to be glowing blue. It's, it was quite average. They could see yeah. nothing unusual about it. And it's the brain that conceived of all the best ideas of the 20th century and nothing and i think that's true i look at these people sometimes if you i heard this once if you if you put someone on a pedestal all you're doing is degrading yourself but i've done it so many times with my comedy heroes with my music heroes and you think yeah bruce is a guy who he's amazing he's one of the great forces in entertainment history and but he's a guy who yeah you know, those are his hands. Those are the same hands as he uses to open up a bag of Doritos. And they're no different than our hands.